What happens if we want to do something like have a text box, which you can see on my screen, it's hiding here in plain sight. If we want to have a text box, how can we get working with that? So I figured I'd show you this example where we can actually use the label with the text box. And when we type stuff in the text box, we can, this is going to be super cool. We can bind from the text box to the view model. And then that view model, that property on there, back to the label as well. So we'll have two controls that are using that same binding, but it will mean that when we type into the text box, we can update the label at the same time. If I bring this code back into here, you can see that I have a text box, right? I'm putting it in the second row of the grid. I'm just putting a little width on it so we can see it. And like if I move my cursor out of the way, you can see we have the label and then this text box as well. So that's all there. The other thing is the syntax for this binding that I want to call out. So this fancy text, Technically, I think we could get away with not having a two-way binding, but you can see that it's referring to the same property on the view model, the same one that we have up here. I'm going to try showing you if we can change two-way to something else. I think if we do one-way to source, it means that as we're typing things from the text box, it will go update the view model. And then this fancy text one, we can go ahead and put the mode equal to one-way, and we can actually use the same update and I'm putting property changed here. So that means that the trigger, the way that we know that the binding has to take effect or be updated is because there's a property changed event. So that means if we're using I notify property changed, which is an interface, it's very commonly used inside of WPF, it triggers a property changed event and that's what's going to make this binding take effect. I want to start off this way because this is what I had working and I'm gonna show you when I go to run this, we now have a text box and a label, right? They both have the same text, but watch what happens as I start to change the text inside of the text box, right? So the binding is taking effect.